crazy for this one. Oh man, what a complaint. I had to turn off my fully functional air conditioning in the middle of a summer heat so that I could do something I actually love doing anyway. We like to complain. We hate to feel like we have to complain or the reasons that we complain, but it feels a little good to complain. See right there, my computer decided to try to give me a reason to complain, but I am aware in this moment. I might forget tomorrow or the next day, probably both, but I will keep on trying. Maybe you can too. Do not complain. A lot of that CEO fire and brimstone, all that stuff where you're supposed to wake up at three in the morning after going to bed at two, is to not complain or explain. And the artist in me loves to explain too much. And so doing this video is a little weird. I'm having quite an awakening, a nice little storm front that I've not known I need it, yet here I am in the storm, and I feel very awake at four in the morning on those meds that I could complain about, but as of right now, they're just a part of life. They are the vehicle that I get in and hope to someday escape from in order to get to work. And this, for now, is my work, and you, you, my constituents, my friends, my people just beyond the screen that I really just desperately want to help in some way. How? I don't know. I'm not a doctor or a psychiatrist, however, I am someone in therapy, and that goes for something, right? It means a little. Do you know anyone that needs therapy that isn't getting therapy? I can think of a handful of people, and I only know a handful of people. It's easy to complain. It's easy to get in your own face, really. Get in there and be upset with you. And that's a very quiet complaining. There's just as many, if not more, ways, although I am pretty internally creative, to complain at others as well. I might be complaining tomorrow when I watch back through this. I hear my hands in my pockets. I don't complain at myself that perhaps I'm not standing right. I didn't use the lint brush even though anyone with a husky knows you need a lint brush. And I would like to complain that I used to have lint brushes. I bought them and I put them right here front of my camera where I would know most logically need them and they're not here and I knowing that I have kids know why unless my husky is somehow in league with them to make sure that I am hairy 
this is not a complaint though this is simply a thing it's a statement about life why i would be upset that i have dog hair means that i am upset with having a dog and i actually like my husky very much if i am complaining about my wife for instance that means I have a wife to complain about, and a lot of people don't. Complaining about my beautiful, healthy, wondrous children means I have beautiful, healthy, wondrous children. If I'm complaining about this, which I at this moment consider my job, then I'm complaining about a job that I have found in this world that has so many meanings pointless jobs and there I go complaining about the world and all its jobs that aren't worthy of my time that I can't even give it right now anyway I cannot give the world my time I have too much to do and I am trying writing and grinding you could say in a way that I don't know if I ever have, I know for certain that this is a sacred day on a quest that I've been going on. You guys haven't known about it because it's not really something that you guys might care about to begin with. But I'm on a holy quest, basically, and uh, instead of complaining about it, I want to be thankful. I thank God, the one that I worship. I thank you, whoever you are, one person that clicked. Thank you for being here with me. It's kind of a night of celebration. Yeah. If you fight your complaints, this literally being the moment this is dawning on me, if you fight your complaints enough, you might actually start to be thankful. And I have so much to be thankful for, but it's so very easy to get distracted by the habit of not being thankful, of not being grateful. Something my therapist got me on recently was something called Emmanuel Texting and other stuff where you just imagine you're talking to God and instead of complaining, you put a little respect on it go with a humbleness and a gratefulness for what you have, because he gave you the good. Me. He gave me the good. I hope you believe in him as well, but I'm not going to come at you. And I would love to complain about all the religious stuff in the world that I absolutely I want to say hey. relationship, my connection with God. And a lot of people, me included, come to his holy feet with problems. And boy, I do that. But lately, thanks to therapy and prayer, I am trying. I am trying to come to his sacred feet with appreciation, with gratitude. So many people treat gratitude like itself is a button to push to just make you more grateful, and that's not really how it works to me. To me, I have to go towards someone and be grateful. I guess I have to tell someone the good news. Not only that I am saved in a spiritual sense, but also that I am grateful to be saved, that I am thankful to be alive, that instead of being upset at all of this suffering and wildfire running around our world, I am here under the shadow of his wings where he has promised to keep me safe and I am maddened by my panic and anxiety.
anxiety disorders, by that CPTSD, and that BIPOLAR family. I am aware of all sorts of reasons that I could be miserable, and yet. sense of being mistreated when I am in fact truly blessed. And I'm not saying this to convict you or make you feel like you should change a single thing. You could be far beyond me in these realms. I'm not putting myself up on a high horse. I just feel like I've had a specific journey with complaining versus being grateful. I feel like I'm learning a lot. Maybe you are too. Maybe you're on a quest of similar magnitude that is changing your heart or mind or life. I'm on a fitness journey that feels weird. I want to chronicle it in some way, but it is... It's fitness and so many people are doing their own thing their own way. I'm just trying to stay alive a little longer, like the doc prescribed. He said it in such a kind tone and in a friendly way. I needed to get my caboose in motion with dieting and exercise, and I am trying, man. If I am flailing, it feels like dancing because it is at least effort in the right direction. One of my favorite memes. Sir, the enemy has us surrounded. And the sir, the general commander person who he's talking to. Great. Then we can fire in all directions and hit something. That is that optimism, though dangerous, it is inspiring and intoxicating in its own way, even when life brings you all sorts of sharp, terrible objects, you string them up on a Christmas tree, holiday table, you make them into ornaments, and you keep keeping on, and I hope you, right now, are doing that. I will too, and God willing, beard hair, beard hair, you keep on keeping on, and God willing, I will too, and in a moment, Sacred.